This is meteorologist Jay Prater. You're joining us for live coverage on Channel 13 KUPK of a tornado warning that's in effect for Clark County and Comanche County. Let's go back to Lanny Dean. Lanny, we're now live on the entire Cakeland Television Network. Tell us what you see. Jay, currently right now, just to let you know my position, I am uh, on one the highway headed west. And I do have a very large funnel at this time, Jay. Uh, very large funnel back towards the, the area of, okay, tornado on the ground, Jay. Tornado on the ground, definite tornado on the ground near, I'm going to put it close to Sitka. This is meteorologist Jay Prater along with Matt Makins. We're here in the Cakeland Weatherplex, and unfortunately, we're watching a very dangerous situation unfold across Weather Kiowa Makins. County. We're keeping you updated during the commercial breaks on the rest of the network, but we are live continuous on a KUPK Channel 13 for a tornado warning. Let's go over to Cakes Viper 3D, a very pronounced hook echo. Our chaser, Lanny Dean, reporting a very large tornado on the ground. This is about 12 miles southwest of Greensburg, and it is heading towards Greensburg. As we look at the velocity signatures, this is winds blowing away and towards the radar. This is about as strong as it gets, folks. Unfortunately, very powerful thunderstorm, very strong rotation now about 12 miles southwest of Greensburg, and it's moving towards Greensburg and really doesn't show any signs of letting up. This uh, circulation still very powerful in this thunderstorm right here. Let me give you a track on it as far as where it is in relation to the south edge of Greensburg. It's only about 10 miles to the southwest of Greensburg, and it is moving in your general direction. Uh, you know I've been on cake television a few years now. I am definitely not a uh, chicken little kind of guy, but unfortunately with this very strong uh, signature on radar, this is a, a very a compelling radar signature. You really should think about heading down to your shelters. Uh, keep an eye on this thunderstorm as it approaches you. Now, the rain and hail will reach you first, so keep in mind, as far as looking through the thunderstorm and seeing the tornado, if you're in Greensburg, you're not going to because it's going to be obscured by the very heavy rain and also the hail between you and that circulation. You know, so Greensburg's up here at the top of the screen, and we switch over to the which way the wind's blowing mode to the how hard it's raining mode. This is what we have now, and you can see that very high reflectivity. What you see is that red, that is the heavy rain and hail. So you're not going to be able to visualize the thunderstorm if it's still producing a tornado. Now, contact with Lanny Dean, we temporarily lost it because of the cell service in this part of Kansas. Uh, but once again, you see a very strong, very well pronounced hook echo in addition to the very strong velocity returns. And that's why if you live in Greensburg, the vicinity of Greensburg to the south, I really suggest you go down to your storm shelters. Like I said, I'm not an alarmist kind of guy, but the only thing this storm is uh, very scary. And the worst case, I'm just going to waste a little bit of your time tonight if you go down to your shelters and it turns out not to be producing a tornado. But uh, just what we're seeing here is a very scary signature. Annie, how close are you to the county line? Uh, we have passed the county line already, Jay. Okay, so you're north of the county line, and the tornado, from your vantage point, is to the east of US-183, correct? Oh, Jay, very large tornado. Okay, I don't know who reported it, which we do. We have two tornadoes on the ground, Jay. Uh, we have a small, uh, well, excuse me, a, a medium, if you will, to the to my north, northeast. We have a very large, very large wedge tornado on the ground that's going to be almost due north of my location. I'm going to put it about five miles, Jay, about five miles, I'm guessing, All right. uh, north, maybe five to eight miles north of my location right now, Jay. All right, Lanny, try and get in the first cam fired up if you can, and now let's go over to Darren. Darren, what do you see from your vantage point? Uh, right now, we're uh, just about ready to get on to Highway 183 to go north towards Greensburg. Um, we still have a large wedge tornado on the ground uh, to our north with possible satellite tornadoes. Um, yeah, I just saw a lightning flash that... Uh, Still, um, probably, I would say probably five miles to our north uh, is where the tornado would be located. And it has been on the ground for probably uh, 25 minutes, maybe even longer. Now, Darren, uh, you said you were getting on US-183 and heading north. Uh, what cross street, how far north of the Kiowa-Comanche County line are you? Uh, we're right on the line. You're right on the line currently, and you're about to proceed northbound back behind the tornado. That's correct. And you've been watching this for quite a little while, and what did you estimate its maximum width was? Um, I would say easily a mile, um, and that's kind of being conservative. Uh, before that, we had uh, two separate uh, mesocyclones uh, with uh, looked to be a cone tornado, and then uh, off to our east, probably a uh, quarter to half a mile was a uh, stovepipe tornado. Uh, a lot of power flashes with that. 
All right, Darren, I know you've, uh, you've lost your light out there, but you got enough lightning where you feel confident where you can follow back behind the tornado on the, on the south side? Um, yeah, we're at 183 right now. Um, we crossed the damage pass uh, a little bit ago. and uh, What kind of damage did you, have, did you find? Uh, we, uh, there's, I, I, I wouldn't, um, it was basically kind of, some kind of farm, uh, maybe an antenna or something like that across the road, and then power lines, and then, uh, strong, strong smell of gas, uh, so strong it kind of made us nauseous. Let's go over to meteorologist Matt Makins. Matt? As we've been saying tonight, Jay, the time will change just a little bit as the storm changes, but the most updated Vortex 3D cake timer into Greensburg here very shortly. Within five to ten minutes, Brenham uh, by uh, 956, Fellsburg by 1007. Certainly if you're in Haviland, there is uh, not a point on this map on this timer for you, but it certainly would be before 10 o'clock it looks like for the possible tornado to be very close to you as well. So between Greensburg and Haviland along Highway 54 looks to be kind of that con the corridor where this possible tornado, which is still being confirmed on the ground, may possibly be siding towards, Jay. All right, let's go back over to Cakes Viper 3D. And unfortunately, the, the very scary radar signatures, uh, they continue. We go over to the, uh, the which way it's, it's blowing mode in the radar and still indicating just very strong rotation. Now, the reports are that the tornado was on the east side of US 183, and this is uh, putting it just to the south of Greensburg now, only by about three miles or so is where we have the strongest circulation. And somewhere in the vicinity of that strong circulation, if there's a tornado on the ground, that's the location where it is going to be. This is from the National Weather Service in Dodge City. They have issued a tornado emergency. This is very rare. You see the strong hook echo. So the tornado is in this general vicinity here. You're live on cake. What do you see? Jay, Jay it's Lanny. I've got a monster, monster wedge tornado. I'm, I'm, I'm about four, four to five miles south of Pittsburgh. The tornado has crossed Highway 183. Definitely, it's to my north, northeast. Uh, Jay, this tornado is a very big tornado. At least, uh, at least, at least three quarters of a mile wide tornado on the ground right now.